Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel, Baddest and Intuitive Tarot. I hope you guys are all doing fantastic out there. In today's reading, I'm taking a peek into your romantic love life for the week of September 2023. I'm gonna pull for you a seven card spread, take a look at who you're connecting to around this time romantically, get their feelings for you deep down, find out their true intentions and motives, take a look at how they'll behave towards you for the next several days, and I'll also take a look at what's in your blind spot with this person. Meaning, what could negatively impact the connection with this person that you do not see just yet? Whether you're doing something to sabotage it unbeknownst to yourself or your person is, or something or someone external to the two of you seems to not want you guys to be together for whatever reason that's trying to pull you guys apart. Whether the universe is trying to intervene or something else, um, I will do my best to get nosy. But I am being drawn to this moon card, which is all about secrets, things that are unseen right now. And one person might be aware of what's going on because they're holding a mirror and seeing the moon reflecting back at them, acknowledging, I know I'm being deceptive. I know I'm keeping someone in the dark. Hmm. We'll see if that card comes back out. The moon is all about fear, anxiety, worry. Like someone's worried about something in regards to this relationship. Worried about being found out, worried about feelings being exposed, worried about insecurities being discovered. We'll see. Spirit, what do we have for Taurus today in their romantic love life for the week of September 2023? What is their tarot forecast? Taurus, love September 2023. What is their weekly uh, tarot forecast? Seven card spread. Two more shuffles. One and two. Let's rock this and deck for my terrific Taurians. All right, so the person you're connecting to around this time romantically, how do they feel about you deep down? We have the start card. Now the start card as feelings, that's feeling hopeful. That's feeling excited. That's feeling like, yes, I like Taurus a lot. This could work out great. Who else got this card? Aries got this card as their person's feeling. So some of you guys could be Aries, Taurus, Cuspers. Um, but also the start card does come after the tower card. So I need to pull more cards to see if this is not telling me that they feel like something is healing after a sudden shakeup between the two of you, or if this is something new and exciting. So what's their intentions with you this week, Taurus? The queen of swords, they want to talk to you about something. There's something that they would like to address. There's a lot of communication that this person wants to have with you this week. Whether this is in the form of writing something to you, texting something to you, DMing you, or talking over the phone or face to face, they are getting ready to express something verbally. And it's, it's honest communication, okay? Strong Aquarian energy. So what's their behavior towards you for the next several days? The Eight of Wands, a lot of communication, and this is very exciting energy. So I feel like whatever they need to talk to you about is going to kickstart the momentum for the two of you. And I did your September monthly five days ago, and it had so much freaking fire in that reading. It was like sparks were flying. So I may have the same group of Torians coming through to watch this weekly, where you've got somebody really excited to talk to you, but there's something that they need to tell you that's very important. It's like they must tell you something very important before this connection can carry on and go forward. It, it, it's definitely giving Taurus, you and I like each other, but before we can even move forward, I feel like I must tell you something. I must tell you this and then how you feel about that, you know, after we'll see. You know, it's like they have to tell you something because if they carry on the relationship any further without disclosing this, uh, you will probably get mad if they didn't tell you. We'll see. What's your feelings for this person? The King of Wands, Leo energy, but also Aries and Sagittarius. You find them very attractive, Taurus. You like their attention. You feel like they're good looking. You feel like they are someone that, you know, is doing well for themselves or is on the road to success. Because in this art depiction, it shows a person standing on stage with a microphone with an audience in front of them. Um, so you just, you love this person's attention. You feel like you got something good here. You met someone possibly during Leo season and things have been moving fast. And this is where someone's like pumping the brakes to let you know something first. This reminds me of, you know, going on a date with someone and you're on your third date and that's when you finally tell them, look, I have a child from a previous marriage. Or, hey, look, um, now that we've been dating for a couple weeks, I gotta tell you, I've been through a divorce. I wanted you to know this. Uh, so you didn't think I was lying to you. Or it's the energy of, 
you know, I did 24 hours in jail, you know, I gotta let you know. It's something like that, Taurus, okay? Now, what can negatively impact this connection this week that you don't see? The King of Swords. Somebody's truth coming out that shocks you. The King of Swords is the male counter or the masculine counterpart to the Queen of Swords. So it's telling me that whatever they must tell you, it's gonna come up as a surprise to you where you're gonna be like, whoa. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting that. So let's see what the outcome is after you find this out. What is the potential weekly outcome for Taurus and this person? The Four of Swords, you ask this person to give you a couple of days to settle the information in. Because the Four of Swords is the energy of, all right, I hear what you have to say, okay? Just give me, give me a couple hours, give me a couple of days, and I'll check back in with you later and see how I feel. Yeah, Taurus, whatever this is, it shocks you, it surprises you enough to where you're like gonna get quiet for a couple of days because the Four of Swords is like a temporary break in communication, okay? Because it's not them saying that they don't wanna talk to you anymore because their behavior towards you is the Eight of Wands. Their feelings for you is the star. That would not make any sense that what they have to tell you is, hey, I think we should take a break. Because it, no, it doesn't make sense with their feelings and their behavior towards you. Which tells me that what they have to tell you what they have to get off of their chest is very important to them, but might be a little bit unsettling for you. Okay. Um, oh, geez. What's your advice? The Page of Swords, get more information. The Page of Swords is my get more information card. You need to get as many questions answered by this person as possible before you make any decisions, okay? Like, when they start to tell you whatever this is, let this be a chance for you to have the podium and be like, all right, well, is there anything else you're leaving out? Is there anything else I might find out the more we start to date? Is there anything else? Please tell me now, and then I will be able to figure out if this is, you know, a deal breaker or not. And then this also gives you a chance to tell them anything that you may have, because we all have our own little things that we don't like disclose on the first date, second date, third date, you know? You just want to see if someone is going to go somewhere with you before you start you know, being vulnerable about your private details. So ask as many questions as you can to this person. So what is the overall energy for the two of you? The Queen of Wands. You guys have such chemistry. You guys had this in your monthly reading. There was so much passion and desire, but some of you guys may have started your connection way too fast with this person to where someone's trying to pump the brakes and be like, look, we started really quick, but I gotta tell you something. I gotta tell you something about my past Six of Cups. You might find out this person has a child. Six of Cups could be children um, or something connecting to their past, all right? And then I see the Queen of Cups. So they, they might be telling you that they co-parent with the mother of their children or the father. There's no genders in my readings. So let's see. Let's see what's going on, Taurus. So this person's feelings for you this week is a star. I mean, the king and queen of swords is also my divorce couple. They might be telling you that they've been divorced and they wanted, you know, to wait to tell you. Why the star for how this person feels about Taurus this week? Knight of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. They feel very protective over this relationship. They feel very protective. And then there's the Empress. That's your major arcana, Taurus. They feel very protective over this connection, but they also feel like something started really quickly where they didn't really have much time to express something to you or in the way that they wanted to. Your feelings for this person? is the king of wands you definitely find them attractive you feel like they are very mature you might see them as a business owner or as someone that's moving up in their company or you see them as someone of a take charge type of person you really like them why the queen of wands or the king of wands excuse me the king of swords and the five of cups <clears throat> it's telling me that whenever this person discloses this king of swords you're going to be disappointed in them. You're going to feel let down, but you're going to be patient about how you're going to respond to it with the temperance card. Now my throat is starting to act up. That's a blocked throat chakra. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Someone wasn't telling you the truth. Someone was feeling scared to open up about something. Their throat chakra was like feeling restricted. 
like they couldn't get the words out like maybe there's there were there was times when you guys were hanging out that they were about to say something but then they chickened out or they were like oh man this is not the right time or place something like that but when you find this out you're gonna be immediately disappointed you're gonna be immediately disappointed and let down you know but you're gonna ask for a little bit of time with that temperance card, which I see with the four of swords, to figure things out. So let's find out more. Why is this person's intentions with Taurus this week the queen of swords? Why the queen of swords for this person's intentions with Taurus this week? You know, the queen of swords is very direct. She says what's on her mind, even if it stings a little bit. Why the queen of swords? Ah! Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Yeah, this person's going to tell you that they've been um, divorced. That's an ending of a long-term relationship. And if it wasn't a divorce, they're going to let you know that there could could have been children from a previous relationship or um, <clears throat> a shared house. Because I see I see a house, but with moving boxes. So maybe they might be telling you that they still live with an ex. Oh man, if they still live with an ex, go, go no contact until they're out of that situation because that, that goes nowhere. Um, but if that's not the case, disregard. Never trust someone that says, oh no, I'm separated from my partner. I sleep on the couch. We don't sleep together anymore. And even if that is the truth, be like, look, call me when you are in your own place, okay? I'm not going to be picking you up for friggin Starbucks while your your ex-wife is looking at me from the window, you know? <laughs> um, but I don't feel like it's that. I mean, it could. I've, I've heard them all. Um, but it is telling me that this person's going to tell you the truth about a long-term relationship that has come to an end. It's, it's ended. It's ended. It's legit ended. Um, but there might be children involved or a pending divorce or something. Let me clarify this King of Swords because this is what came up in the blind spot. Sometimes the King of Swords in my readings comes up in a, as an attorney, a divorce attorney. Temperance, Two of Pentacles, that came out in a weird way, so I'm gonna put it back. But Temperance, if I read it in this position, that's the energy of someone making, you know, someone making a decision when they weren't like, calm about it you know like someone says something when they feel emotional like it's like ripping the band-aid during like some sort of argument like like this person needs to wait for you guys to get into like a little petty argument before they can finally tell you what this is they don't want to tell you while you're in a good mood or something like that why the king of swords two of swords this person has been going back and forth on what to say to you the Two of Swords is ignoring the truth, sweeping something underneath the rug, hoping that it just goes away on its own. It's the energy of, oh, I hope this just goes away on its own. I don't want to tell Taurus this. I don't want to do this. Two of Wands. They have been at a crossroads about how to tell you this. I need more information. What is this that they need to say to Taurus? What is this? What is this? Yeah, they've been married before. They've been divorced. Four of Wands. They've got to tell you that they've been married before. They may have never told you that they were divorced. I'm getting divorced. I'm not getting that they are actually married. If they are married, proceed with caution. But um, they're, they're strongly telling me that there was some sort of serious relationship from their past that they haven't disclosed to you. Why? I don't know. I mean, you don't on the first day just put it on the table I've been divorced before or you know I co-parent with somebody it, it's something like that Taurus but they want a new beginning for themselves they want a new beginning for themselves um, why is the eight of wands their behavior towards Taurus going forward why the eight of wands they're excited about where you guys are headed why the eight of wands the star but it wanted to land in reverse even though they're hopeful something might take away some sort of faith in a, in a situation with a star wanting to land in reverse. And it's because of consequences, justice, Libra energy. Justice is usually my legal divorce card or my marriage card. But in this tarot deck, the justice card reads consequences. They're feeling a lack of hope and faith because of a consequence to their actions. By not telling you something right away, they're worried about the consequences to their actions. 
Taurus, I'm strongly getting that. And look, the Three of Swords, there's a third party still involved. I don't feel like it's romantically a, a third party. Like, um, I don't feel like they are openly romantic with this third party, but there's still a third party lingering in the situation that is still like on the, like adjacent to the situation. They're not fully out of the picture, okay? The Four of Swords is your potential weekly outcome. Ah! The Six of Cups wanted to fly out. Six of Cups, Three of Swords, Four of Swords. You needing a little bit of time to figure out what you want to do about this information that you just found out. Why the Four of Swords for the potential weekly outcome? The Ten of Cups. You putting the plan of being with this person in a, on a relationship on a pause with the Four of Swords because now you feel like you have to put your guard up with the Nine of Wands and follow your judgment on the judgment card on what to do here moving forward. And you're being asked to get some more information from this person. Why the Page of Swords for their advice? Three of Cups and the Sun. Yeah, they want you to get as much clarity as you possibly can about the situation. Possibly a Leo or someone that you met during Leo season. This person wants to date you, they wanna be with you, but you gotta make sure that the, there is no extra people involved. Because I got the five of wands. You don't want their drama to become your drama. Let me get another card on this. I wanna find out more about this consequence card. Cause this person's worried that once this comes out, you're not gonna look at them the same way. Why the justice card? Five of Wands. They're worried that you're gonna get upset at them. Okay? Surrounding a third party. And it's gonna prevent you guys having this new start, Ace of Pentacles. They're scared. They're scared. Ah, <sighs> Taurus. Give me more on what they wanna tell Taurus. I, I gotta dive deeper. I mean, they are being truthful. The Queen of Swords in the upright is someone speaking the truth. So what they tell you, it's the truth. Ten of Wands and the Five of Pentacles, but they're scared that you're going to want to abandon this all together. I mean, everyone has a past, but as long as you're upfront about it early on, it almost feels like this person dated you for a few weeks before telling you, by the way, I also have a child from a previous relationship that I, I co-parent with the mom or the dad or hey we've been dating for three weeks I forgot to tell you that I just got divorced six months ago I don't know if that's okay with you since I just recently happened or my ex is still actually moving out they're getting their own place sometime this week but they still live on my couch you know it, it feels like that okay um Give me another card for how this person feels about Taurus. Nine of Cups, you make them happy, but they're scared that they're about to lose you. Look at that. They feel like they're scared. Maybe they didn't feel like they were gonna get attached to you like this, and that's why they never told you. They may have saw you as just someone that they were gonna talk to over the summer, and that it was not gonna ever get serious, and they're like, I don't need to tell Taurus that. I don't think we're gonna be dating. You know, we're just hanging out, we're just talking. You know, and then feelings get involved, and it's now, oh wow, I can't stop thinking about Taurus. I think about them all the time. Now, what, what do I do here? For some of you, this person already told you and you are already in recent no contact. This is my recent no contact card. So if so, let's find out how they truly feel about the no contact. Um, wow. For zodiac signs that came through this reading, I got Aquarius, I have Leo, I have strong Libra, strong Aquarius, Aries is here. Um, um, uh, Aries I already said, I think. If not, Aries is here. Please rock that like and subscribe button if you girl. And if you like to book a private reading with me, Taurus, the link to my website is in the description box below this video. If this reading did not resonate, check out your um, September monthly because um, that reading was fun. It was fun and new and sparks were flying in that reading. But if that was a continuance of this, look out. They got something to say. I kept up a facade to the world, but you always saw past that into my soul. For some of you Torians, you saw a pass through someone. Um, it's like the energy of you knew before they told you. 
It's the energy of, yeah, Badison, I knew all along. I was just waiting for this person to finally tell me. I saw through that. The thought of you with someone else drives me crazy. I hid my true self from you because you challenged me to expand. You were my sanctuary. You were the only person I could confide in and I betrayed your trust. All right, Taurus, that is for you. I hope this helps. I'll check back with you in a few days. Uh, I, I'll, I will also, I can't freaking talk. I will link the most recent all signs reading I did for you guys in the description box. Just click on the Taurus timestamp. All right, love you guys. Smile until your cheeks hurt. Namaste.